All right, guys. Uh, one second. Since I've had several hundred videos up, I kind of have the luxury of waiting on stories and not putting up every single one at once. And I want to bring you on that uh, Christian clerk that got put in prison for not obeying the orders of doing the gay marriage licenses. Uh, my only major question involving this Hi. My only major question involving this is how many applications for this did she deny or are sitting on her desk that she didn't fulfill because every one of those people need to be in court when she goes to court finally. And that that's my biggest P. It, it isn't so much you decided not to do your job. It's that people were in line waiting for a government service, basically like the uh, Veteran Affairs with the medical, and they weren't getting their, their support from the government. That's my PMS. But look what I found online. Uh, here's one thing they're not going to tell you. Consciously enlightened. There was a lesbian judge, Tanya Parker, refused to perform heterosexual weddings for three years, never reprimanded. Uh, Christian clerk, Kim Davis, obeys Kentucky law and U.S. Constitution, gets thrown in jail for not wanting to... Uh, you know, to go through with the gay marriage thing. Uh, and you can find this also on the ChristianNation.org. And look at this little tidbit. This is coming from Daily Headlines. Muslim woman refuses to do her job and isn't thrown in prison. Hypocrisy Muslim airline attendant refuses to serve alcohol because of her religious beliefs and doesn't go to jail. So what I want to show you is there's a super double standard for this administration and its law codes. I know it isn't a clerk thing, but it's definitely close to it, folks. Um, you know, one of the things I keep saying, on, even when I encounter this online uh, in various sources, is that mm, this lady claims to be a Christian. She claims to be this. She claims to be that. But From what I've heard... She's not really the type that people really, you know, are saying, oh, well, she's a Christian. No, oh, good, you know. But I haven't heard that she even used any verses from any of the holy books to defend her argument. Because there's really nothing in that I'm aware of that actually says homosexuality is wrong in the Bible. I mean, there are verses that say, you know, it should be frowned upon, but. I mean, to each his own. I mean, if God makes you a certain way or you turn a certain way, that's that's you, that's your nature, that's your environment, that's all the drugs in the air and everything else that are chemically screwing everybody up. That's what I believe. So, um, so let me show you this one more time so that you understand what's going on here. This is coming from the Christian Nation via Consciously Enlightened. There's a lesbian judge, Tanya Parker, refused to perform heterosexual weddings for three years, never reprimanded. And while Christian clerk Kim Davis obeys Kentucky law and the U.S. Constitution, she gets thrown in jail for disobeying the order after probably, a, I'd say, better part of a week or two. Maybe a month or two if we really look into it. So I wanted to get this out to you guys because there is a lot going on. And I'll show you that Muslim video real quick, even though it's not related slightly. A uh, woman refuses, and we share them on my page. I am not okay. This is coming from Daily Headlines. Woman or a Muslim woman refuses to do her job and isn't thrown in prison. Uh, Muslim airline attendant refuses to serve alcohol because of her religious beliefs. Doesn't go to jail. All right, I'm gonna put this up the way it should be. You have a job to fucking do. Pardon my language. If I get a job at a grocery store. And I know that my part of my job is going to be filling the bags for the customers. And let's say there's a black woman or a black man or a Jew or some other. Screw it. Everybody knows that I really don't like the Vatican and everything else. Let's say there's a Catholic. Okay. Let's say there's a super Catholic who's just bitching and crying. And I say, no, fuck it. Religious belief. I don't want to serve this person or, you know, some other shit like that. I can't do that. It's not right, and I will get fired. And hopefully, you know, that'll be that. So, you know, this is the same thing. 
So let me go over this one more time so you guys can see the hypocrisy. A lesbian judge, Tanya Parker, refused heterosexual weddings for three years, never reprimanded. So there were people waiting probably th nearly three years for her, and she wasn't reprimanded. Kim Davis, a Christian clerk, obeys Kentucky law, and his constitution gets thrown in jail once the laws change. Well, I personally think that Kim Davis is a bigot. That's honestly what I think. She's a bigot. Uh, I haven't heard any major things from her church saying that she was doing good. I haven't heard anything from her pastor or her reverend or her um, her priest. I haven't heard anything from her church saying she should or should not have done this. So the church that she goes to, folks, is not representing her in this matter. So what kind of a Christian is she? Where she goes to church, does her book work, does her studying, knows her her verses and everything, and she her church is not coming out and saying this is wrong or this is right, according to what we've been showing back and forth. Not one person has come out and said that she goes to this church and we support her or we do not support her at this church. I still think she's one of these, you know, on the books religious people and can't put a verse out there on her own time if she tried. That's my personal belief. She's basically just somebody masquerading and using the words and running around for her own agendas. I could be wrong, but I haven't really seen anything to differ.